Hello, my name is Captain Bridges. I'm with Charles City Fire and Emergency Services, and I'd like to take a few minutes today and just talk about some home fire safety. I want to go over what we call EDITH, which stands for Exit Drills in the Home. So here we have just a basic diagram of a house. Uh, living room, kitchen, three bedrooms. The blue marks indicate windows. You should always have two ways out of each room. A primary exit would be through the door of each room, and then an exit at the front of the house. If for some reason that exit is blocked, you will need a secondary exit. The secondary exit would be the windows. Once everyone is out the house, you need to have a meeting place. It doesn't matter where you designate your meeting place, but just somewhere where everybody could go, whether it be a mailbox or whether it be a tree in the front yard. Once everyone leaves the house, they would go to the meeting place and then everyone is accounted for. Once you exit the house, do not go back in. Regardless of what was left inside the house, do not go back in the house. Uh, it's a good idea that you can sit down and draw just a very basic plan and then practice it. The more you practice it, the more you'll know what to do in case of emergency. Uh, one other thing I'd like to talk about today is a smoke alarm. Uh, everyone should have a working smoke detector in their house. If you don't have one, give us a call. Uh, the number is 804-652-4511, and you can request a, a detector, a smoke detector, and we will be glad to come put it in for you. But when you put your smoke detectors in, once a month, you want to test them. Each detector has a push to test button. You'll take and you'll hold the button and it'll beep once it uh, gets to that point and you'll know it's good. Most detectors nowadays come with a 10 year battery. Most detectors nowadays come with a 10 year battery so you shouldn't have to worry about replacing the battery for 10 years. If the battery starts to go low, the smoke detector will chirp once every two minutes. When that happens, it lets you know, hey, the battery's dead, it's time to get rid of it and get a new detector. So hopefully you'll never need this information, but just in case you do, I hope you've learned something. Thank you and have a safe day.